we'll guide you through how to play Sky Factory 4 with friends and make a Sky Factory 4 server. If you find this guide useful then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So first of all you need to just come out of Sky Factory 4 and go to the link in the comments or the description and that will bring you to Apex Hosting, they're the sponsor of today's video. So they are a paid platform, but they've got so many awesome features. For example, one click install mod packs. So installing Sky Factory 4 is so easy. Also, they've got 24 seven servers and support with 24 seven live chats. You can get assistance anytime you need it. And so many other awesome features like instant setup, etc. And at the moment you can get 25% off your first invoice. So come here and we can then go and click on get started. You can go and select your game, which is Minecraft. Now we need to choose a plan. When it comes to choosing your plan, don't get worried about this as I know it can be confusing and there's quite a lot here. Personally, I would go for a little bit more RAM because we are playing with a mod pack, it does require that. And eight gigabytes here does cover all mod packs. So that should be enough. And if you find that you need more RAM, then you can always upgrade and you can always go and have less RAM as well and then pay less in the future. So that's super useful. If you're gonna have quite a few players as well, then it may be worth going for a little bit more. And then what we can do is go and click on order now and we can start going through the checkout process. Now what you can do here is go and choose the server version when you're purchasing it. You can always go and choose this, change this later and I'll show you how to do that as well. But for example, you could go and type in Sky Factory 4 like so and it will then be installed when you get it. But as I said, I'll show you how to go and change it. So anyways, go and check out. After you've purchased your Apex server, you'll then be sent the details in an email. And what you can then do is go to the top right and go and click on panel like so. And then what you can do is click on go to my server and here we are. Now, what we can do is go and scroll down and I haven't actually ins installed Sky Factory 4 yet. So come down to game file and come over to the right. And then all you need to do is go and type in Sky Factory 4. Here it is and you can go and click on it. And what we can then do is click on change version and it's worth creating a new world to prevent compatibility issues. So I'll click create new world. Then restart now and it's gonna go and be installed. So now all you need to do is go and wait. And while you wait, you can go and check out all the different awesome features in Apex. And also if you want to check out the progress, click on console on the left here, and you can then go and see it's installing. The server is now online. And then what we can do is go and make ourselves admin. I just think that's useful. To do that, you type in OP and then your Minecraft name, which is guide realm for me. Just like that, I've now been OP'd. And then what we can do is click on back in the top left and here we are. And you can go and see how much RAM the server is currently using. As you can see, it is using about four and a half gigs of RAM and that's before any players have joined. So it is worth making sure you have got enough. As I said, you can get more or less. But now to go and join the server, you can come down and you need to go and get your subdomain or IP address and port. And then what we can do is come back to Minecraft and you want to go and click on multiplayer and click on add server. And what you can then do is go and copy the subdomain or IP address and port by coming over to the right and click on the copy button. Then come into Minecraft and you can go and click in server address and go and paste it in. Then press done and it'll then go and be added. As you can see, there it is. And of course, you can then go and give your friends the subdomain or IP address and port, and we can then go and join it, and they can too. And just like that, we're now in the server, and we can now go and get playing. It's that easy. So as I said before, you can then go and get your friends to join by giving them the IP address and port or the subdomain, and that's it. You can go and open up the advancement book and you can go and read through this here to go and help understand what you need to go and do. Also, you can always come back to your Apex panel and go and start using it as well. It's got so many useful features, for example, player history, backups, commands, loads of different awesome things, which you'll find useful when running your server. Once again, a big thank you to Apex for sponsoring this video. We really do appreciate it. If you did find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video as we've got a ton more videos to come on Minecraft and there are already a ton on the channel as well.